Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to factory reset a MacBook Air M1. Uh, first of all, you've got to make sure that all your programs are closed and find a way to shut down the computer. Um, so here I have some programs open and uh, yeah, I'm just taking the liberty to close them out. Alright, once the computer is turned off, I'm going to hold the power button on the top right. Um, so, sorry, let me move my hand a little bit here so you can see. Um, there we go, so press the power button and hold it until you see the Apple icon. And even after you see the Apple icon, keep holding it until the screen says that message right there. Loading setup screen. Okay, and once it's finished loading, you should see an options icon on the top. And yeah, let's click on that. And yeah, let's let this load. This should take a little bit. Okay, and then what we're going to do next is we're going to click Disk Utility. Um, and this step is very important. We have to erase both the Macintosh HD and data volumes. We got to do both. If we only do one, then we run into a different error later on. So here I've erased the Macintosh HD, and here I've erased the data drive. Okay, I'm going to click done. And now, I think I'm ready. So we are going to go back to this recovery screen. And yeah, let's let it load. Um, and you should see uh, an activate Mac screen. And once this loads, you should be able to click. Next. And yeah, I'm just going to speed this up, but just keep clicking next and you'll be able to set up your Mac. So agree and choose your Mac HD drive. And yeah, this will take a couple hours, um, at least with my internet connection, because my internet connection isn't great. Uh, but yeah, I think the rest of the step should be pretty straightforward. There we go. Looks like it's finishing up. Um, and yeah. Once that is done, the computer restarts and here's the setup screen. All right, uh, thanks everyone. Um, again, if you have any additional requests for guides you would like me to make, please subscribe and leave a comment. Uh, thank you very much.